Turkey's power over Russia in Syria and beyond. In light of Russia's recent military mishap in Ukraine, Moscow's position in Syria might suffer. Russian military capabilities in Ukraine are anticipated to be impacted if Turkey closes its airspace to Russian jets going to Turkey, although such a step is unlikely to harm relations between Moscow and Ankara. Russia did not retaliate when Turkey closed the Black Sea route for Russian Navy vessels on February 28. The Kremlin's reaction to Ankara's most recent step was equally restrained, which is understandable. Russia's diplomatic envoy in Ankara, Maria Zakharova, said, Moscow understands Ankara's decision to shut Turkish airspace to Russian jets traveling to Syria. According to Russian Middle East specialist and Russian parliament member Semyon Bagdasarov, the United States was just a matter of time away from exerting pressure on Ankara to implement similar limits on travel. As a result, Russian jets will now have to travel across Iranian and Iraqi airspace to continue delivering supplies to Syrian soldiers. Russians, on the other hand, are worried that if their so-called special military operation in Ukraine goes on much longer, the West would exert greater pressure on nations that want to continue cooperating with Moscow. American and Allied pressure on Baghdad to exclude Russian jets from Iraqi airspace is a distinct possibility. Russia's soldiers in Syria would be entirely cut off in this scenario. According to an analyst at Moscow's Institute of World Economy and International Relations IWER, Russia would most likely have to withdraw its soldiers from Syria if another Arab Spring-style upheaval occurs in the country. Russian assistance for the Syrian Arab army will be significantly reduced if supply lines are unstable and the continuing invasion of Ukraine continues, as it has been throughout the most active phase of the Syrian civil war. Even still, Turkey seems to be placing its bets cautiously. Ankara has so far declined to join the sanctions on Russia, and it is said to be interested in purchasing Russian Su-57 planes instead of updated F-16 fighters. The Turkish government is also hoping to bring in more Russian visitors this summer. That Russia has lately expanded the number of flights to Turkey implies that the Kremlin does not seek to damage ties with Ankara either. In addition, Moscow seems to indirectly back some of Turkey's activities in Syrian. Yevgeny Prigozhin, alleged to be the owner of paramilitary organization Wagner Group and linked to Russian President Vladimir Putin and Russia's defense ministry, referred to Ankara's attacks on Kurdish guerrillas in Iraq and Syria as a holy war of the Turkish army in an interview with Turkish daily newspaper Aydınlık. It seems that Ankara will continue to serve as a mediator between the Kremlin and the White House as Putin has already complimented Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan for arranging the exchange of prisoners between Russia and the United States. It's an issue for the Kremlin, though, that Ankara is attempting to capitalize on Russia's political and military shortcomings in Ukraine and expand its influence in other parts of Russia's sphere of influence, including Syria. The Russian-dominated Collective Security Treaty Organization CSTO, which Russia dominates, is now busy with the conflict in Ukraine, while Turkey intends to normalize ties with Armenia CSTO. At the same time, Ankara is aggressively establishing military ties with a number of Central Asian countries that are still under Russian influence. Ministers of Defense from Turkey and Tajikistan signed an agreement outlining the basis for future bilateral military cooperation on April 22. An unmanned combat aerial vehicle, UCAV, has already been acquired by neighboring Kyrgyzstan, which is also a Russian partner in the CSTO, from Turkish manufacturer Ankara, according to reports. As a result, Turkey continues to provide Ukraine with Bayraktar drones, and the Kremlin seems to have no problem with this. Being cut off from the rest of the world and alone in the Ukraine conflict leaves Moscow with little opportunity for diplomatic maneuvering with Turkey. But Turkish measures to restrict Russian vessel transit via the Dardanelles and Bosphorus Straits and to shut its airspace to Russian aircraft going to Syria may have a long-term effect on the position of Moscow's client, Syrian President Bashar al-Assad.